it's been 19 years since we've had a full-length feature film featuring Wallace and Gromit, and here we are with the return of Feathers McGraw. Yeah, this seems like a good time at the movies. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing Wallace and Gromit, Vengeance Most Foul. Again, it's been 19 years since Curse of the Were-Rabbit, where I, that was my first experience ever going to Wallace and Gromit. I remember watching certain things like back in the day during church or even some things being introduced during school. But Curse of the Were-Rabbit was like my first major introduction to Wallace and Gromit. And I loved that movie. There was a time period where I just remembered being obsessed with the clay animation, but specifically the characters and how simple and subtle the story was. But at the same time, a ton of fun. And Wallace and Gromit Vengeance Most Foul has kind of been one of those movies that I've been excited for. But I didn't know if Aardman still kind of had him in it. Because the last Chicken Run movie, the sequel, I was a little bit disappointed in. As well as the last few Aardman films, I just haven't felt that memorable bit to. But thankfully, Vengeance Most Foul feels like a return to form for Aardman in so many different departments, and I hope that, that we don't have to wait another 19 years for another Wallace and Gromit movie, because Vengeance Most Foul is a great follow-up to Curse of the Were-Rabbit. You don't know what this movie is about? Well, yes. Feathers McGraw returns, but it focuses on Gromit's concern that Wallace has become over-dependent on his inventions, proves justified when Wallace invents a smart gnome that seems to develop a mind of its own. About as much as I can say without getting into spoilers, make sure to please hit that like and subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts, and let's dive into my pros. So number one thing, anytime you come to a Wallace and Gromit movie, you expect utter delightfulness. And that is exactly what I got here. I find that this film is one of those true definitions of utter delightfulness. It's just such a simple and small movie that has these somewhat stakes that you do get invested in with the characters and wanting to see them prove and figure out their timely days. And specifically what is going on with Wallace this time around, you feel like you need to be there for him. And Gromit just is the perfect side companion to them. And you love of their relationship and there's no difference here within vengeance most foul simple at its characteristics but somewhat very poignant in some of its other mannerisms that it's really pointing out and that was one of the things that i was so pleasantly surprised with vengeance most foul is that I was expecting a fun new adventure with them, but I wasn't expecting a really nice poignant poke at AI and specifically how so many of us are dependent on technology and Vengeance Most Fouled really much dives into all that in such neediness, but so much entertainment that it actually makes you look at yourself and you'd be like, well, yeah, do I need to tell my Alexa or my Siri this or that? And again, very pleasantly happy with how they were able to handle that. And I thought all the writing in here was just stupendous, as well as the jokes. I didn't find that a joke never hit or landed. I always felt and had a smile on my face or a giggle here and there. And again, for such a subtle and small movie, that's kind of what you want. And especially when you go into Wallace and Gromit films, you don't want something that's going to be life-altering or life-changing, just something that maybe makes you think about different aspects of your daily life. And I kind of felt like Curse of the Were-Rabbit did that in different avenues, and I feel that Vengeance Most Foul also does that here. Ben Whitehead's performance as Wallace is just always perfection. Like, there is no doubt about that, how good he is in here. So Reese Shearsmith, who plays the Norbot, the, this no that's our AI robot that helps everyone do their lawns and daily life things, which even feels more poignant. The fact that like Elon Musk just announced that new robot that like people are going to be able to buy and help with their daily lives like this. It feels like they saw the future and were able to already dissect and touch into that. I don't know, but Wallace and Gromit can tell the future now, I guess. These little things and these character moments that always work so well. And alongside this, even though the voice performances are great. It goes also to the slapstick and silent humor of Gromit and even, of course, Feathers McGraw. And for me, that is always one of the things I look forward to, that no matter what, the visual gags that you can get in an Aardman movie feel always somewhat stronger than the actual vocal gags that you may hear, have here and there. And Gromit always steals the show, and I think he steals the show here. The entire third act... Uh, what they do with Gromit and sp specifically Feathers McGraw just had me grinning from ear to ear. And this is just, again, a movie that I feel like I needed this week. 
I really needed a simple and subtle movie this week to make me happy and to dive into. And it actually like really makes me sad that this movie isn't coming out to Netflix until around January for many of you guys. I wish more people would be able to experience this movie around the holiday season. And some people will be around holiday break once it comes out on Netflix and you'll still be able to enjoy it for that. But Wallace and Gromit Vengeance Most Foul just hit all the delightfulness that I really needed this film to hit. And I just feel so happy with it. If you've never experienced a Wallace and Gromit movie, Think Paddington. Like, if you, a lot of people have seen the Paddington films, the same way, shape, and form of what Paddington is, I feel a Wallace and Gromit is, and I feel like Vengeance Most Foul really hits that, as it is the true definition of an utter delight. The charm, the laughs, and now that their poignant satire on AI and technology dependency will strike many with truthfulness but total entertainment, the return of Feathers McGraw lives up to his evilness. I had a blast with this film and I hope a lot of you guys do get to check it out when it does premiere on Netflix in January. Again, please keep this on your radar. I cannot recommend it enough. So with all that said, I'm going to give Wallace and Gromit, Vengeance Most Foul, an A-. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts, and of course, until next time, stay classy.